zombie apocalypse. Good morning, fellow tinkerers. Let's make ourselves a brand new fidget spinner. And I'm going to name mine the fidget spinner via the tube because I found that this is a really slick way to get a nice looking custom spinner quite fast. When you bring the tube out, let's zoom to the correct size by hitting fit view to selection. And then let's change our tube using the numbers. Uh, if it has a radius of 10, that means it's got a diameter of 20. Uh, if we make our walls two millimeters thick, uh, that means right now the hole would be eight millimeters. We need a size 22 uh, hole, and I like to do mine 22.2. .2. So if my hole is 22.2, .2, and I've got a wall of two and a wall of two, that's four plus 22.2, .2, which is 26.2. .2. So then we can use a radius of 13.1. Right now we've got the perfect size, but uh, to make it so that it's easier to fit it in, we need to change our number of sides to 60. And then I like for mine to be rounded, so then I like a bevel. You can change these however you want. I'm going to do a bevel of 3, and I want it to have 5 on the sides, so it makes a pretty nice, smooth, rounded center hole. It's important to remember that our bearings are only 7 millimeters thick. So make sure you change that right now. And then you can finish your spinner by simply doing Control D and duplicating your parts and move them, uh, making sure you're viewing from the top so you can tell that they are still connected. And then I want to move mine. I'm going to make a tri spinner. So I'm just finding the spot where it doesn't stick through. I want them to be connected, but I don't want it poking through. Once I've done that with the first one, I'm going to bring back the second one. I'm just moving with the arrow keys and getting it to a spot where I think it looks the coolest. I'm not doing any math on this. I'm just putting it where I want, keeping my grid one millimeter at a time, and moving these into place. Just like that, you have created a nifty tri spinner. Do make sure that you zoom in and double check like you can see your mine was poking through. That would be an issue. Now it is connected and it's not poking through. Uh, you can also make sure that you've got it uh, aligned. Right now they weren't aligned at the same height. Now they are. Make sure these two are aligned. They should be because you created them uh, from each other. But boom, you have created a sweet little tri spinner. I'm actually going to change mine so I think it's better balanced. I like that. I'm going to do the same thing to move this one down. And then once again, I'm going to double check that height to make sure it's aligned. This time I did nail it. And boom, I have created a fast fidget spinner via the tube. Have fun. Make sure that you uh, create the cool stuff like this and share it with me. Uh, you can put it on Thingiverse. You can also just invite me to take a peek at it by generating a link and emailing me at HarmonM. Have a great day and keep tinkering. Unicorn Zombie.